Well, Shelby County Mayor Lee Harris presented a $1.6 billion budget for the 2025 fiscal year. And joining me right now is Mayor Harris to discuss his plans for Shelby County. Welcome, good to have you with us again. Great, great to be here. Well, there have been ongoing issues with the jail at Tulum yeah. Poplar. Um, doors don't lock, uh, fires inside, conditions not great, hundreds That's of right. deputies short. So what's next for the jail? Well, the re constructing a new jail is a large project that will take many years. And mm -hmm. so the first step is to study um, that project and to try to get a sense of what the estimated cost might be. And we also have to have a location for the new jail. And so we're trying as best we can to acquire new property in downtown. We're also trying to assess some of the property we have at East Campus. Uh, this may be something that's not done on my watch. I leave in 2026. But studying the project is the first step in the right direction. And so the Shelby County Commission has already agreed to pay for a study. And so that's that's what uh, the sheriff and other stakeholders like yours truly are working toward. Okay, mm -hmm. and as I mentioned, you've also talked about that 6% uh, pay raise for uh, county employees without a tax increase. Can that really happen? So this is my sixth budget in Shelby okay. County government and I proposed the tax rate cut last time. I didn't right. get it, the county commission rejected my tax cut. But of the six budgets I've proposed, I've never proposed a property tax rate increase and I proposed raises in the past. Uh, a couple years ago I proposed 5% and I didn't have a property tax cut then. To this year I'm proposing 6% and there's no property tax cut. I'm really fighting hard for the 6% by the way okay. because I do think there's gonna be an effort to try to change the budget. Uh, but these employees are working really, really hard and they are facing high gas prices, high bacon prices, high milk yeah prices just like everyone else and we have to celebrate and honor the dignity of work if you work hard every day you deserve a fair a fair pay and so i want shelby county government to lead the way to lead this conversation because when our employees get a raise it's a conversation that spreads to all sorts of organizations so i'm going to fight the effort to take the raise away uh, and uh, you know hopefully our employees will get that six percent raise and i'm, I'm going to ask our employees to give voice to their concerns and try to convince these commissioners leave the raise alone our employees deserve it Without a tax increase. With no tax increase. <laughs> okay. I'm not going up on anybody's taxes. All right. Now, an ouster petition uh, against Shelby County Clerk Wanda Halpert was filed yesterday um, in Shelby County Circuit Court after DA uh, Cody Womp in Hamilton County uh, finished the, her investigation. Your thoughts on that? Well, we hope that the problems in the clerk's office uh, will be resolved mm -hmm. one way or another. Obviously, this is the most draconian of the, uh, of the options available. Um, but I think all of us have heard too many reports of the leases uh, not being renewed, of the long lines, of the failure to deliver a corrective action plan to the, to the county commission, I think is the most recent complaint. And so I think this has to be addressed some kind of way. The state has lost confidence. The state comptroller says he's lost, lost confidence in, in the clerk's office. So it's got to be addressed. And I'm hopeful that even though this path is very, very draconian and very serious, mm -hmm. that this is the path that will get these problems taken care of once and for all. Uh, so we'll see. All right, we're out of time. I wanted to yeah. ask you about your summer youth internship program, but sure. maybe you'll come back and talk to us about that. Absolutely. All Thanks right. for having me. Thank you for being here. Shelby County Mayor Lee Harris.